To COVID headlines now, the Pueblo Department of Health and Environment is preparing two new mask mandates, one for city buildings and another for schools. KRDO News Channel 13's Sean Rice is live in Pueblo with more on this new development. Sean, do we know when these new mandates could be in place? Yeah, Bart, from what I've been told, the earliest Pueblo residents will be mandated to mask up in city buildings and schools is early next week. The number of people hospitalized in Pueblo with COVID has quadrupled in the last 30 days. That sobering statistic has led the Pueblo Department of Health and Environment to draft two mask mandates, one for schools and the other for all city owned buildings. So we're looking at a plan that would require that um, employees and members of the public uh, would be required to wear a mask indoors in city facilities. The mask mandate for schools would require kids aged two and up mask up in Pueblo schools in order that the mayor fully supports. Online education is not the way to go for students. Our goal should be to keep students in class uh, in person and I think masks are a way to do that. With Pueblo's last mask mandate ending in May, the health department is not considering a countywide mask mandate. You know, I don't think anybody likes masks. Yeah. But I mean, you know what, when you consider what the mitigating factors are, what are the least restrictive means to make sure that we're doing as much as we can to protect people. With the Colorado State Fair beginning Friday, thousands will visit Pueblo in the coming week, an event city leaders don't want to see canceled. I much prefer mass to limiting capacity at events or I much prefer mass to counsel to canceling uh, large indoor events. So you have to weigh it in terms of what the alternatives are. I reached out to school district officials from both District 60 and 70 here in Pueblo. They tell me they're still waiting to be briefed by Pueblo County Health, but that they are ready and willing to comply with any public health order that is issued. Reporting from Pueblo, John Rice, KRDO News Channel 13.